Hi guys, today I wanted to share with you my Filofax Original Burnt Orange in A5. I received this for my birthday and I decorated it for Halloween. I absolutely love the way it came out. I only have had about a week and a half to decorate. So, and if you can see, we have a little special guest today. Here's Bella, she's sitting here in the corner. So you will see her reach in, probably meow and make a lot of noise throughout this video. But you know what, it's National Cat Day, so I think it is allowed for today. <laughs> Anyway, um, this is how I decorated for Halloween. Like I said, I only had about a week and a half to decorate, and I know this is really late, but I still wanted to share it because I absolutely love it. The first thing that I have is this band right here from Rainbows and Pixie Dust that is located on Etsy. I love this band. I know a lot of you use it for your Erin Condren's, but I like the way it fits on my A5, so I really, really like that. I love the way the co colors complement the cover and all the Halloween items that I have inside. Across the top, I have three paper clips from BB Crafty. She is also located on Etsy. I love her shop and I love her clips clips and I thought these three worked perfectly with how I decorated. So I'm going to open this up and we're going to take a look at what's inside. Okay, this is everything that's on the left side of the planner. Here I have some papers tucked in. The collection that I used for decorating my planner for Halloween was from My Mind's Eye and it is the Something Wicked collection, which I absolutely fell in love with. I love the colors and I love the patterns and it's a very vintage type of Halloween look, which is really not my style. So I'm really surprised that I ended up falling in love with this collection. On the left side, the first thing I have is this adorable mummy kitty cat. I love her, it's Hello Kitty dressed like a mummy. And you guys know I'm a big cat person, so I saw this clip and I fell in love with it. I will link the shop below. I'm not sure if they are still available since we're just approaching Halloween and I don't know if they are still offering them. These two flare buttons here were from the Something Wicked collection as well, and I just put them on gold paper clips. I have a piece of ephemera from that same collection tucked in on the top, and down at the bottom I have my Target to-do list, and I have some washi tape from the Something Wicked collection as well. Here I just have my ultra fine Sharpie pen that I use a lot tucked in the pen holder. So that is everything I have on the side. I'll give you a closer look at every so you can take a look at what it looks like. I really love how this came out. I also love the sparkly band from Rainbow and Pixie Dust and this was a custom request. The band did not come with this sparkly band. I requested that so I'm really pleased with how it came out and I love the way it holds the papers that are tucked in the side pocket so they don't slip out. Okay, we're going to move on to the right side of the planner. The first thing I have is this shaker pocket, which I'm absolutely in love with. I use the Something Wicked collection to decorate this as well. The little sequins that are inside the shaker pocket are from Tailored Expression. Her Build-A-Theme sequins, and I love them. They're so cute. They have some ghosts a little mix of everything. This wood veneer I had in my stash from last year, so I'm not really sure where that came from. And I just love this big, huge gold paper clip. It's so cute. I'm gonna flip it over, and this is the reverse side. These, again, are from Something Wicked collection from My Mind Eye. And this one may actually be from the Frightful collection from My Mind's Eye. I'm not sure, but I think that's where this trick and treats is from and I really do love it. It's super cute. So that is the first thing. And just so that you know, to create this shaker pocket, I used an Avery L stamp storage pocket. I like the stability that they have, and I used my fuse tool to create the pockets. Okay, the next item that I have is just a fly leaf. And the reason why I do this is because I decorate my dashboard and I do not laminate it. So in case I wanna put any sticky notes or write something in somewhere, I can do that with a dry erase marker and just wipe it away and reuse it over and over again. Okay, this is my dashboard and I love the way this came out. Again, I used the 
uh, my mind's eyed something wicked collection and I also use some pieces from the frightful collection and I just love the way this came out and again I do not laminate these because I love the dimension that these have I like that it has a scrapbook type of look to it I love the puffy stickers that would not laminate well and I didn't want to not include those and they're super cute. I love them. I also like using enamel dots, which also would not work well in a laminator. So I definitely do not laminate my dashboards and I do decorate them scrapbook style. It's just my way of doing it. Since I do project life, I guess that's just how it is for me. If it's just a plain dashboard, I get too bored easily. Here I do have a second fly leaf. I love having fly leaves in my planners. Um, if it were up to me, I'd probably have one between every divider and probably more than that. So it's just how I do things and I create my own. I just use um, overhead projection plastic and it seems to work okay with me. Okay, my first divider tab is my weekly. And as you can see, I just have my paper clips uh, held down with washi tape. I like to do that because they're just really secure. They don't fly around. I know a lot of people complain that their paper clips don't stay in place. I just choose a spot where I think they look really cute and then I just secure them down. And I'll show you a close up of these paper clips. They're from BB Crafty on Etsy and they are absolutely beautiful. They have glitter, rhinestones, you name it. They are adorable. I love her shop. Okay, this next card here, I actually created with a Project Life card and I foiled it with my Heidi Swap mink and I love this. Look how cute that came out. I used orange foil and I'm really happy with the results of that. And what I did is I just used some washi tape to secure this down so that I could flip it open. I originally just did it in black and I didn't like the way it came out so I did the foil on the other side but I like it now because it's double sided. And under here I can hide any kind of private post-it notes that I don't want anybody else to see so I just cover it up and then I put down my fly leaf and it kind of holds everything nicely in place. So that is my first divider and I'll show you the back side as well. I don't think I showed you the back side. It just has more washi tape and a little piece of ephemera from the um, Something Wicked collection. Okay, I'm going to skip that week right there. I just don't want to go over that one, but this is my first week and my first week I used this awesome, awesome sticker collection. I love it. I'm going to link the shop right here and it was their apple picking collection and I just loved it. Now I was in New York City on this Monday and I ended up hitting the road on Tuesday the 13th and we headed back to Missouri because I was in New York for a week. And this is just a general, I'm not gonna go over this whole spread piece by piece. I just wanted you guys to take a look at it since we were in here. This was last week, the week before Halloween, which I really love and came out really cute. And the reason why I'm showing you this is because I created this additional dashboard piece um, I posted this on my Instagram and a lot of people were curious about it and asked me a lot of questions. Uh, because of these inserts from So Much Crafting, the sidebar is missing. If you're used to Erin Condren style, you lose your sidebar. And at first I thought I'd be okay with that, but then I kind of felt like I was short on space. So I decided to create my own sidebar and I just used the So Much Crafting grid paper to create these and what's nice is in one A5 sheet I can get two of these with very little waste left over. And I just add this in and I put anything that I feel like I need extra room for. So I add that into my design for the week and this is the right half of the week. So once the rings are closed, you can see it's really easy to flip. It's no problem. It does not get into the way. 
so I don't worry about it too much. And then I'll show you this week, it is not complete because this is the beginning half of the week. I'm gonna post this on Instagram so you guys can take a closer look at it. This is the additional sidebar I made for this week. As you can see, I have an opening there still because I have not completed it. And here is all the other things that I have listed for this week. Um, I also used the Michaels glitter tape that's right here on this edge. And that is another video that I'm gonna do separately. I use Mod Podge to seal this glitter tape because it absolutely drives me crazy. If you guys use the glitter tape from Michaels, you know what I'm talking about. It sheds everywhere and I love it and it's so pretty. So I came up with a solution of sealing it before I put it inside of my planner. And this is the second half of this week, which obviously has not occurred yet, so I'm not complete with this half. And then I'll just show you an empty week for the So Much Crafting inserts so you can take a look. It's really, really cute. Now, another thing that I came up with is this pocket right here. Um, this one here is another Avery L stamp pocket. I have hole punched it. I haven't altered the size in any way. And basically what this is, is my place to store stickers for what I'm using to decorate next week. These are the stickers that I plan to use for the first week of November. Guys, this can definitely, definitely change. But what I do is I slide this right into this pocket. And this way I know these are the stickers I have planned for this week. If I turn the page, I do have a second pocket for the second week. And you can do that for as many weeks as you want. It may get a little bulky on you depending on how many stickers you put in, but I like to at least keep the next week's stickers inside the pocket. It helps me know that I already have a theme picked out. It helps me not use the stickers before that week because I don't like to break up the sets until I actually use them for my week. If I have any leftovers, I do put them in my stash. So that is everything. We're gonna flip to the next divider, which is my to-do. This one here is just paper from uh, the Something Wicked collection, and these are not laminated either. As far as my tabs, I use a We Are Memory Keepers tab punch with the pieces that laminate it. You can see it there in my lights. And then I use my label maker to label it, so this way I can change the labels if I choose to. I am gonna try different methods on my tabs, so that's just coming up. Okay, these are the inserts that I use in my to-do tab. They are from So Much Crafty. These are time sensitive because I did put the date stamp of when I wanted to complete these projects. And I just make a list of everything that I want done and check it off as I go along. And I really like those a lot. Here are blank ones so that you can take a look at those. Okay. My next section that I have in here is my food section. This is the divider that I have for that section. I love these little skeletons with glasses and the large polka dots, really, really cute. Here I have my on the menu inserts from So Much Crafting. I love these, basically it's everything that I'm eating for the week. And then it is my grocery shopping list in the back and I will show you a blank ones so you can take a look. I might change this up. She does have different ones that are made for the personal size. I might change my menu and my grocery list into my Kate Spade personal size so that it can go with me when I am on the road. That's the only change I'll probably make in this planner. Okay, my next insert is my finances. I love this paper from Something Wicked. It is so pretty. It has sparkle in it. It's just adorable. And that's another reason why I do not laminate my dividers. I just like the texture of the paper. I can't help it. It's just something that I love. This is my financial section, which is all my online purchases. I have my sheet that I'm currently working on to the side here. It just has a lot of personal information that I didn't want to share on film, but I will show you a blank one. Really, really cool. These are also from So Much Crafting. Love her shop, love her inserts. I don't think I would use any others. Okay, so we're gonna just 
skip ahead on that. And also towards the back, I don't really use them as the debt repayment plan. Currently right now, I don't have any debt that I'm needing to repay, but if I do, I will have those at the ready. <laughs> My next tab is marked holiday, and I love it because it says trick or treat, so I think it's perfect for holiday and I love this face on the moon it's just so cute and I cut it like that on purpose so this way would this would come on the other side and I just think this one's really cute now for holiday I actually have my Christmas countdown kit in here this is also from so much crafting I have it here because I've actually started working on it and adding things to it um, I'm not going to show you an exact flip through of this. Danielle from So Much Crafting does have that on her Facebook or, I'm sorry, her YouTube channel, and I will link that below so you can see a flip through of these exact inserts. But I do have them in here, and I'll also have them in my November setup because I am starting to already work on Christmas ideas. And then my last divider is my miscellaneous. Love this one as well because you can see the beautiful glitter that's incorporated in the paper and the polka dots on the back and this is just um, random things that don't fit anywhere else this is current stickers that I'm wanting to buy um, all that now the last thing I have is a pocket and as you can see there's no rhyme or reason to this pocket but mostly I use for my coupons like my bed and bath my bath and body works ones any kind of coupons my Kohl's cash anything that I need while um, I'm shopping so when I do go shopping I will actually pull out this pocket and toss it in my purse I do not carry this a5 in my purse it's a little too large for me and then um, I have two Polaroid holders or actually I'm going to say business card holders, but I use them to hold Instax pictures. I currently did not have any Halloween Instax pictures that I've printed out yet, but when I do, they're going to go in these two little pockets. I have more of these holders, so I will switch them out for November setup. And then back here, I have another stamp storage pocket, and what this says is Kate Spade next week. I keep the stickers that I'm going to use for my Kate Spade planner in this pocket because they're too large to hold in my Kate Spade. I will hold them back here. I've not decided what I'm going to use next week yet, so I have not pulled them out. And then the last thing I have back here is my Prima Chalk Edgers color sheet. I have this laminated at Staples. It came with the 40 piece. Uh, ink pad collection and I like to keep this back here because if I'm going to stamp and for instance if I wanted to stamp something for this week coming up which is this collection I could take this to the stamps and decide which colors match. I can go with turquoise stone and probably shabby tote or maybe dry sand would be the colors that I would use to match back to the colors in this collection in case I wanted to stamp something. So I always like to have the color swatches next to me. So I keep those in the back of my file of facts tucked away in this little pocket and then as far as here sometimes just depending if I have a decorative pad from Staples or from uh, Target or from Office Max or from Michaels that matches with my setup I'll have it here I did not have any for Halloween so I just decided to leave that blank and that was everything guys I totally love the way this planner came out for Halloween. I'm super pleased with it. If you guys have any comments or questions, just leave them below and I will answer you back. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.